Okay, for my two cents today, a lot of you want to know how to just hook up your PC to your TV. Now, I'm going to clarify a couple things I didn't in my last video when I said how to do your PC and laptop. Now, here's a simple setup. If you can see, here's just paid 75 bucks for it on Craigslist. Pentium 4, 40 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, I put some RAM in it. Works great. Uh, have my phone jack hooked up to it. Oh, I'll show you. That blue thing right there is my magic jack, which gives me a phone line. And then over there, it's connected to my fax machine on my all-in-one fax. So I've got a fax machine, a phone line, the internet, all on this computer. Now, the beauty of it is, is if you can see this, I'm actually taking the lid off ahead of time here. You can see this thing right here. It's called a video card. Now, it has your regular video. That, that blue connection that you see, the VGA monitor connection for your regular display monitors. It also has a high def TV for flat screens. It looks kind of like uh, boxes, uh, a rectangle with two rows of boxes on each. Anyways, then we have my favorite, the S video cable coming into the back of your TV. Now, this video card I got from another computer, you can get a good one online. I mean, you might want to invest in one because they actually, the better video card, the better picture you're going to have on your TV. Now, a question that I had from one person was, well, my picture's not as great, you know, just hooking up my laptop or my PC to my TV. Well, it's not going to be because, honestly, the company didn't expect you to be smart enough to use it that way. And basically, I have an all-in-one package myself for $40, $50 a month. All I do is pay for the internet connection. I have free phone, magicjack.com, $20 a year. I paid 40 bucks once, included a year of service, I got a magic jack in the mail, all I need is an internet, DSL, or cable, and bam, <laughs> hook it up to a USB on any computer or laptop, and I have a free phone, so, got the phone connected to the fax, which takes a lot, because I fax a lot of stuff, so it saves me a lot of money, it's usually a dollar a fax, so, that right there, I mean, the video card... I mean, invest in, spend a hundred bucks or more. It's a one time buy. Make sure it has an S video cable. Hook it right up to the back. Go to Radio Shack, get or eBay. You want to look for a headphone attachment. It looks like it plugs right into the headphones or the back of your stereo. You know how you hook up the speakers on your computer, your PC. Same thing. And you can have it connect from there. And all it is is it connects into the back of your computer and red and white cables for stereo go right into the same place your video s video is right next to it so you got your s video your red and white for your stereo that's going into the back of your pc and it looks like uh... one of those headphone jacks then you've got your s video cable going into the video card on just a regular Pentium 4 pc you know 512 megabyte ram nothing special but as you can see, I mean, I can read everything. It's it's perfect. I mean, this isn't the greatest camera. It's only 8 megapixels. Uh, I should be using my video camera. But I just wanted to show you real quick that it's real simple. I have an all-in-one package, and I didn't have to spend $100, $200 a month for cable and everything. Because now... I can get everything on here. I can watch my shows and all that. I have a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. So as you can see, I can bring up my windows. Let me actually show you. Plus I can hide the window bar from coming up. So what do we got here? There's my magic jack. Uh, let me do this real quick. I 
I can go to my documents and just last night let's see oh well if I wanted to watch CSI the season premiere the regular CSI show now all I have to do is double click it it's hooked to my stereo speakers right on my TV and it helps if I double click it okay here we go VLC media player if you want a media player that plays everything no just so you know I'm gonna turn up my regular volume it's off I can pause that Well, my music player works, but here we go. Control, this is one David Two. I have a 444 officer down in the alley north of the 800 block of Grayson Street, requesting three backup units and paramedics. I am in pursuit of the suspect. The suspect is a white male, possibly armed, wearing dark clothing, traveling southbound toward Mount Passer Road. So there's CSI. Just so you know it's not regular TV. Skip ahead. Take this to the wrong judge, and McKean finds out he... You have a visual? Okay, but just so you know, there it is. All in one package myself. <laughs> Went to Craigslist, go to the Salvation Army, go to an electronics, play anything, you know. Dig out your old PC, but here's a simple way to have it all. If you got any questions, let me know. I, instead, if I didn't want wireless, I even have my regular keyboard hooked up. But there it is in a nutshell, everybody. How to have a regular PC and the difference a video card makes that you can have actually see your stuff on TV instead of being a little blurry so spend the extra money if you want to take out the blur otherwise if you can guess what stuff is well you're okay if you just want to watch video it's not that bad of quality but like I said don't buy expensive boxes converters just download what you need off the internet there are shows I've got other ones in there you can see where to download free stuff alright that's my two cents though if you have a question email send a message, whatever. Alright, take care.